think I was. My chest almost ripped through my skin. I forgot to unwrap husband's weight. Embarrassing. Let's run this thing back again. All right, y'all. We're starting with my absolute favorite overhead press machine, which is the Viking Press. I love that I get to load it up so heavy and just feel like a badass moving it with my little body. And I love all the core that you have to engage to give it enough force to move. And it just makes me feel like a badass. So look at this hard set of 10. If your lifts don't look like this, just consider you aren't going heavy enough, okay? Make it intense. And then we're gonna hop into another one of my favorite moves, which are these cable Y raises. And I love that they just hit your shoulders so good. They burn so freaking good. They work your side delts, but then also your rear delts, which is gonna help strengthen your posture. But they also hit a little bit of the back. The key is to keep the shoulders relaxed so that you don't involve too much of your traps. And to just hold on, because baby, I mean, they burn so good. Do I have to say it again? Now you're gonna find when you do these on the cable machine, you're gonna have to probably go really, really light. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that you feel it and then also take your time. No rush on this movement. And then the Arnold's presses. I should just tell you guys that I really just love training shoulders. So the Arnold's presses, these are very tough for me and I wish I could use something more than 20, but for a set of 12, 20 is more than enough, especially after the other raises I just did. But these are pretty, at least, <laughs> even though they're not so heavy. The key is to make sure that you're getting a good range of motion and try not to pause at the bottom, y'all. That pause is going to kill you every single time. All that time under tension is just going to kill the lift. But, you know, your last couple of reps should slow down anyway, so I powered through. And then we end this delt session with some lateral raises because I need these delts full and dense to match my lower body so that I can be competitive at my next bikini competition. So I got these in and then unfortunately my workout stopped abruptly because I had to make a dentist appointment. But y'all, I'm training shoulders three times a week and absolutely loving it. We'll be back to the gym in a little bit, but let's get into this vlog. What's up? All right, y'all, so this is a flip vlog. A fit vlog. Excuse the messiness in my house. We are purging. So you'll see little piles of things that I'm getting rid of. Ticket on the table, three of them. Don't worry about it, okay? I. It looks like more of a, of a mess than it is, okay? This is, um, what do you call it? Chaos, but like structured, okay? Like I got some structure. Things are going well, and I want to give you this fit vlog. Um, missed the intro, but we went to the gym already. I woke up, hit shoulders, so that's what you're going to see. You're going to see me do shoulders, but then I want to take you on my errands with me, and then I have to head back to the gym. My gym session got cut short because I had to leave, go to a dental appointment. You guys see the pearlies? I'm so excited about them. They look good. I've been taking good care of my mouth. Used to hate the dentist, but we've been taking care of we. I told you we got it going on. So went to the dentist, cut my gym session short, but after my errands, I'm gonna head back to the gym and it's gonna be lit. So I'm taking you guys with me to do that. So basically this is a fit vlog. Um, maybe you're doing your cardio. Maybe you're sitting at work and need a little bit of break. Um, what do I want y'all to do? I want y'all to sip some water. By the end of this video, I want you to have drink I want you to have drunk. I want you to drink 16 ounces before this video is over. That's it, 16 ounces of water. Go get your water, get comfortable, and let's get fit. Before I head back out for my errands, get into the drip. So my friend, Tony, owns the company One, and I absolutely love his two pieces. But guess what, y'all? The waist is getting small, the food pile left. I never really had a food pile, but you know, it was, it was all tight in here so the waist is shrinking but it still fit that ass so love this two piece so i have on i guess this is like the coral one with these metcons and some socks that has been found we were so cute today um mm, let me we, we was cute today let me put that clip in here so y'all can see we always try to when we go to the gym match so let me make sure I show y'all our matching fits because we were so cute today. And I just think 
This is so drippy. So my first errand was taking my car to the dealership. I needed some air in my tires, and so they always take care of me. I love when I go walking through and looking at all the different Benzes. I think Mercedes is just so classic and chic and clean. It's very boss and sexy, very modern not too futuristic not outdated whatsoever it's just everything it's the aesthetic that i am striving to create in my life so i just love walking through and manifesting i think this is going to be my next one y'all so i'm at the dealership getting air in my tire um i guess i could have did it myself but i just like coming to the dealership because of how warmly they treat me here so i'm here but speaking of warmness errands give me anxiety because i can hardly tolerate when i'm not treated warmly like if i walk into an establishment and they just look at me and don't greet me i'm either going to tell you about yourself or i'm not spending money there so having to do multiple errands and guess if i'm going to be treated well really gives me anxiety and i know that people go through things and everybody's not warm and bubbly but if you work in customer service I think it just really doesn't take much to smile and greet people who are coming to spend money. Um, so today when I pulled up, one of the servicemen just looked at me and I'm like, okay, are you gonna tell me where to go? Are you gonna just say hello? Are you gonna even just wake your face up and smile, right? But my service provider swooped right in because he already knows how I am. And yeah, it's so easy just to, make your day go easier by being nice i really just hate when customers people in customer service are not just be nice smile uh act like you like your job even if you don't because nobody made you be there pick something else if you can't just smile and say hello but that's my rant i just i just realized that that really like killed my vibe and I'm trying to get it back because I'm in a good mood but uh, bad customer service drains me. So I left out in the rent the fact that I've worked in customer service literally all of my working life and that's probably why I have such high standards for it because I just know that it's a choice. It's a choice how you treat people no matter how they look, no matter how they show up, no matter what their issue is. You make a choice in how you treat people. And that was something that I learned in one of my most dreaded jobs coming out of college my very first job where i started making decent money was working for enterprise a rental car company and i had some resentment for the job because i just didn't think that i went to college to end up working at a rental place and the job was sold to me as a management training position and I accept it because of the pay, not to realize that I would be cleaning cars in a business suit. And I learned so much at that job. And I don't think I've appreciated it until just recently when life just started to hit a little bit different. I realized that I learned so much in those days, being in the summer sun, cleaning out cars, making sure that every customer left completely satisfied. We got bonuses for making sure that everyone left completely satisfied and what that did was create a standard for me where I always want to give my best and provide value and leave people better than they find me and I just really cherish that so I really hope that you're getting that from my content because that job is even carrying over into what I am doing now with my life and I really just hope that you leave each one of my vlogs completely satisfied if you get any coaching from me you leave feeling better than you came that is just something i strive for and now that i have this bends also <laughs> i'm also putting that detailing that i learned from in this prize to you so you just never know when the lessons are going to hit and when you're going to need it but i look back now and see that that job even though i hated it while i was there has really 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 shaped the person that I am even now. All right, she is ready. She's looking good. I love her. Um, my car is what I'm talking about. Now it's time.
to hit the gym. It's a little after 2 o'clock, which is like the start of the rush hour. But my goal is to be out of there by 5 o'clock. Because I, I don't do that rush hour rush. Okay? So, we're going to hit the gym. I usually spend about 2, 2 and a half hours between my workout, my cardio, and practice, posing practice. So, come on. Let's have fun. All right. Change of plans. Because I completely forgot that I still have to eat before I hit the gym. So... Also, my phone and Apple Watch are about to die. So while I cook up this late lunch, basically pre-workout meal, I'm gonna charge those so that one, I can continue to capture the workout. Two, I don't like to track my work. I like, I don't like to go to the gym without my watch. It's how I track my workouts. It's how I make sure that I'm not in my phone checking notifications because I can kind of see them on my wrist. So I'm not getting distracted by my phone as much. And then also, on, I use the activity ring to make sure that overall for my day, I'm hitting like a thousand calories. Now I know fit trackers are not accurate, but it kind of just gives me a general sense. Am I burning as much or more than yesterday? So whether it's exactly a thousand calories or not, I wanna be sure that I'm using that much energy. It's the same thing, same way I go with the scale. I know that my Bathroom scale is not 100% accurate, but I look at it for trends. Am I up or down for yesterday? And I don't really get caught up in a number. So my goal is always to kind of end the day closing my ring so I can make sure that from day to day, I'm kind of using the same amount of energy expenditure, okay? So that's a pro tip. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Just use it for the trends, okay? But let's get into this post-workout, pre-workout meal while I charge up. So this meal has to do two things, y'all. It has to, one, create an anabolic environment in my body. So all that means is I need to be anabolic. I need to be able to build muscle, maintain muscle, repair muscle, all the things muscle. So we're going to have protein pre-workout and something easily digestible so i like to go with leaner cuts of meat like chicken breast this i already roasted i always keep roasted chicken and or shrimp because they're very low fat and i cook them in bulk and keep them so i can make different little meals throughout the week so this is four and a half ounces of cooked and then i'm going to add this hash brown one because it's fun and just gets me excited to go to the gym two it's a white potato which is a very simple carb that's going to easily digest and convert to sugar to fuel my workouts now it's getting pretty late i am not going to be leaving for an hour because again i'm letting all of my devices charge but then i'm at the gym for a long time between getting the rest of my lift done getting my cardio in and i still had to pose so um, we're going to add some fats and fiber from this avocado mash just to slow down the digestion. That way I also have nutrients left at the end of my workout. So pro tip, don't forget the fats and fiber to slow your digestion when you're going to be at the gym for a while. So I'm just going to put that on here. So I use a small amount of fats because again, it's slow digestion. You don't want anything that's going to sit too heavy on your stomach. But I used 20 grams of that and then I grabbed this everything bagel. I've been falling in love with the Asiago cheese flavored one. I get this from Aldi. It's so good and I really try to put this on everything. Sprinkle that on there for some flavor. And then one more pro tip is this meal looks sparse okay for three years i have not been in a cut so i am so used to eating much bigger meals but now that i'm fitting things into these little macros in this cut i found that eating with a fork and knife just helps me slow down my eating so i can actually enjoy the meal instead of devouring it in one or two bites and then wondering where my meal went so pro tip use a fork and knife when you have small meals hey okay, and now for this workout so i got back finally and hit glutes and just legs in general actually and as you can see i got there during rush hour so people were everywhere um uh, i actually uh, crowd so i hate bad customer service and the busyness in the gym it really just is distracting for me so yeah this is one of the things i have to find in my routine i have to get so much better at getting to the gym early not putting it all so late because then I have to deal with just 
a lack in my performance because the gym gets so busy you gotta wait for machines people are everywhere and then i'm a content creator i can't record so i hit those split squats and then finally the hip thrusts open as you can see i was so irritated so irritated but i hit these these were 15 reps with a three second pause at the top i literally hip thrusted every single week three times a week since the first day of summer y'all i am almost hip thrusted out but i still love them but i'm getting tired of them not even gonna lie but these were pretty tough not to mention it just was people everywhere and so in my following vlogs you're just gonna see that i gotta get this routine together like even this girl had to come pop on the floor in between machines it was so so busy it was people hanging out my gym is a pretty serious gym but it just was people everywhere and i was distracted and i couldn't catch my vibe i'm saying like y'all please help me send help please send help but eventually I, I just got it together because again, it has to be pro behavior. You got to be able to get it done. The situation is not going to always be perfect. You're not going to always have it your way, especially when you're not in routine, especially when you aren't being disciplined and me having to be here at the gym just came from getting a very late start to my morning and running into that appointment. So it's all on me. I really couldn't be mad and I really had to just focus and make the best of it. But best to believe you are going to see a lot more time management vlogs coming up because I know if I want to get my pro card, I can't play with my routine like this. And then I wrapped up this workout with this super set of kettlebell goblet squats elevated. It was 15 of them and then I stepped to the back of the plate and did 12 or 15 more calf raises. And that was my leg day. I got out of there and went home to pose because it was just way too busy. Now y'all, this video actually wraps up the end of our summer prep recap. And uh, we are actually at this moment that I'm editing four weeks out from my first bikini show. So we are getting ready to start a very intense countdown. And I'm going to announce my shows in the very next vlog. So make sure you are subscribed. Comment what you want to see from this prep and then turn on that notification bell so you get the announcement in the very next vlog and also if you would like to follow me through the end of the year and do the same workouts i'm doing you can get it for a discounted rate at the link in my description so make sure you guys do all of that comment like subscribe join me in the workouts and then i am going to see you guys in the next one okay make sure you click my last video and let your cut up on the series bye